What are you doing in Wisconsin? I'm not tarpon fishing. We're back in Green Bay here. We're gonna be making the old send on the Fox River. It's March 2nd. It's still earlier than it is normally when we actually get out here and do some fishing, but got my good buddy Dave Nelson with me today. We're gonna go out and do some walleye fishing. Dave absolutely loves walleye fishing, don't you, Dave? It's like my hundredth favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't let him kid you. It, it's his, probably his favorite thing. He loves it over tarpon. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we actually went down and did some tarpon fishing with Dave a couple years back, and it was a ton of fun. But today it's my turn to take Dave out on the boat and hopefully catch some fish. So that being said, we're going to get this boat launch, get out there, have some fun. If you guys are looking to get out here, do some fishing, I am booking guided trips. You can go down below. There's a link down there where you guys can book me for the day, get out here, and have some fun. Whether you want to fish the Fox, Green Bay, whatever it is, we'll get you out here. But enough said, let's go ahead and drop the boat in. Let's do it. Let's go do some fishing. Wow. That was that was weird. Didn't even get to reel it yet. This thing picked it up. Unless I snag, unless it's snagged, which could be a possibility. He picked it up. He must have picked it up on the fall. So all of a sudden he was just kind of there. <laughs> hey, how about that? We'll take it. We'll take it. Hey, 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 you calm down. Check that out. Whoa, he's all fired up. Right there, right on that blade bait. Just tossed it on. Awesome fish. We'll go ahead, get the bait out of him. He definitely hit it on the fall. Didn't even move it. That just goes to show you how negative these fish actually are today. Super slow presentation is basically what you want to show them. He munched it right in the corner of the mouth though. Little 3A sounds. We got some wind today. So I thought I'd throw a little heavier blade bait, but just a nice looking Fox River fish right there. I know Dave's keeping fish, but we'll catch plenty more today. There we go. How about that? <laughs> yeah, once you get to the point where you got a good chance. Yeah. I think he just feels better because that current is so much stronger today. But yeah, I'm a blade bait again, and I've been getting a lot of questions about the blade bait. And to be honest, the biggest mistake that people are making with the blade bait is they're overworking it. They're working it too fast, they're working it a little too aggressively for these cold water fish. And what, what happens when you do that is you end up snagging more fish than catching fish, um, you know, where you want to catch them in the mouth. So if you're running blade baits and you find that you're snagging a lot more fish than actually catching, slow your presentation down a little bit be a little more patient just kind of slow it way down and you're going to find yourself having better success on these on these blade baits out here yeah that's that's it i mean and you can tell these these fish are just nipping that back treble so they're barely touching it so you want to work that bait super slow just enough to get a little bit of action out of that bait to trigger these fish to bite hey hey what do you say let's just catch some walleyes today today in the last video, I've been getting a lot of questions on what kind of rods I'm actually running. I'm using a Della Bay Superior rod today. This is a 7.2 medium light. These rods are coming over from Elk River, Minnesota. They make custom long rods like this one. They also make custom ice rods too as well. But if you guys want to check these rods out, I'll leave a link down in the description below. You can use code CSFISHING to save yourself some money at checkout. And I am trying out this new PC Fun captain reel today this is a 2000 size and i'm telling you what i absolutely love this reel especially for the price you can't beat it super smooth super durable and look at the slick look on that thing too paired up with some white braid right there if you guys want to check these reels out you can also go down in the link in the description there you can use code cody 15 save yourself some money too there but let's go ahead cast this back out hopefully catch some more fish I'm gonna get you the net, friend. That one hit it. 
That one picked it up. All right, yep, turns out the, the hair jig program works here. And that right there is why you run a stinger hook on your hair jigs. Purple staple out here. Another nice fish ready to go back. Yeah, that's a poon. Whoa, I just seen another fish come up. Shark, you think so? On the hair, it's, it's a hairy day. Get out of here. On the stinger once again. Another good fish though. Peace. You want a Red Bull? Thank you. Yeah. Blue is probably my least favorite, but. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, shit. But I'll drink it. Yeah, so blue's my favorite, so I just kind of figured, ah, he's got to like blue. Hair jig is killing it. You're on what, two fish for me on this hair jig. Dave, what are you up to now? Three or four on? Four. It's turning into a hairy kind of day. The wind really died down. It's almost flat calm out here now. And yeah, just a little hair jig with a stinger hook. These are available at the Donkey Hut too, as well, if you guys are interested in running some hair. It's one of those baits that kind of gets overlooked, especially out here. I don't, I don't run this bait a whole lot. Um, it's just something that I haven't used a whole lot in the past, but it can be a silent killer out here on the river. And today is just one of those days. So nice out now. Yeah. Ooh, is that surface? Oh, that's a walleye. That's a boat flipper. Oh yeah. On the stinger. Hey, you stop that. Stinger hook doing the work today. Oh man. Well, it was a fun day. We're gonna get off the water now. We caught plenty of fish, plenty of fish. David's got, take a look at this. Dave's going home with some fish. Three walleyes and two white fish. Yeah, not bad, not bad. So Dave, Dave got some fish to take home, just what he wanted. This is like one of the, getting close to one of the last days that you can keep fish out here. I believe this weekend it changes to one over 28 inches, basically just to protect that spawn that's gonna happen here relatively soon. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We uh, basically just used blade baits and hair jigs today. Caught a couple on plastics earlier in the day too as well, but turned out to be a really nice day. The sun wasn't supposed to really come out today and ended up coming out, warming that water temp up a little, just a little bit, kind of just enough to get those walleyes fired up a little bit. And man, did we put a killing on Dave. Dave actually, Dave probably caught more fish than me today. That's all right, Dave. Uh, this is what your first outing out here this spring so far? This spring, yep. Yeah, so it was fun. It was good to, good to have uh, Dave in the boat today. Just have a little bit of fun, catch some fish. Like I said, I am running trips. If you're interested, check out the link down below. But as always, hit that subscribe button. And if you liked this video, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you thought. And until next time, keep living your dream. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.